Hi guys. Okay, a few of you have been asking me um, what my equipment is and how I set it all up. So I'm on the entry right now and uh, just as I enter into the Algarve, I will pull over and tell you guys all about it. Right, so let's start. Well, let's start with this bad boy. Okay, he's currently recording, but uh, GoPro Hero 9. I have the choice of putting it on the front of a crash helmet, uh, but I actually prefer it here. I've got a magnetic mount which uh, I bought off of Amazon. Uh, I'll put the links below. And it's really good. It's got um, rare earth magnets, so it's very strong. Um, no fear of that coming off. And there's also a really handy um, grip that you can transfer it to. So that's the GoPro 9, currently recording. Let me turn that off. As you can see, I use ND filters so that I can bring the shutter speed down so we get that better um, feel of motion. So you get motion blur, otherwise, it's all a little bit too crisp. Now, my crash helmet is a Cena Momentum Evo. Uh, very pleased with it. It was great value for money. Fantastic price. Again, purchased off of eBay. Uh, at the front, I've got this uh, stick-on mount. Uh, so far, it hasn't gone anywhere. It feels absolutely solid. And more importantly, it gives the, the camera a chance to tilt back. Uh, when I've used previous mounts, like the chin mount, one that actually straps on, not only does it cause a bit more noise because I can't close my visor, um, it actually keeps the, the camera in almost a forward-facing uh, roll. So when you're riding, most people sort of ride with their head tilted a little bit, you'll get mostly the controls of the bike uh, and very little of the road. So this mount is good because it tips it back. So therefore, when you're sort of riding in the normal position, the camera is actually more face forward, but I'm preferring this mount because of the ease of use. How am I get my audio recorded? Well, when it was on the chin, I had one of these bad, bad boys, which um, I highly recommend. Again, I'll leave a link in the uh, description below. This is a, a hammer uh, boom mic, which is kind of like got the flexible neck to it with a 3.5 millimeter jack plug on it. And as you can see, it is the perfect distance so that this plugs into the back of the, uh, the media mod and curls up underneath there. And I'm going to fucking kill that fly in a minute. So as you can see, that would fit perfectly. But the problems I've been having recently with both my GoPro 9 and my GoPro 7s is overheating. Here on the Algarve, it can get particularly hot, especially in the high 30s. And because we ride in a group, I like to get everything synced up. Got it. Absolutely got it. <laughs> Look at that. So when we're all riding, the three of us, we sync up normally with a, the horn of the uh, one of the bikes. So we're recording audio, recording video. And I like to just do the whole thing in one shot until the batteries run out. And then afterwards, uh, his friends come back, uh, do the editing and cut it down a little bit. But the problem with this here, in the media mount, uh, I think it's just getting too hot. It's not getting enough ventilation. So having it kind of naked here uh, is, is, is works so far. Um, we are cooling down now. We're not exactly mega, mega hot at the moment, but I found it works better. And I actually like the, uh, the angle that you get. Plus you can see my speedo, <laughs> which helps. But there you go, that's the cameras. Now with regards to recording, I have a Zoom F2 uh, recorder, which is a 32-bit float recorder, stuck to the side of the crash helmet. Uh, it hasn't come off, uh, despite the heat, it's not got any weight to it, it runs on two AAA batteries, they seem to last forever. And again, under here I've got another one of these guys, uh, plugged in, it's still recording now, and because this is 32-bit float, it means there's no possibilities of uh, peaking, 
uh, you know, where the, the, the noise is too loud and it clips off. There's nothing you can do about that if that ever happens. But using these 32-bit flight recorders, that is not a possibility. It has a massive ceiling. It can record uh, exhaust sound. I could literally shove that up the exhaust pipe and it wouldn't peak. Uh, and getting back to that, um, these pick up a lot of noise, wind noise. So how do I record my audio? Well, I have another one of these guys here, which I tend to stick here and then run this microphone up here, hidden inside this cowling. And then that gets the exhaust note, doesn't get any wind noise. And again, being 32 bit float, it enables me in post to uh, normalize the, the signals and even cramp down some of the noisy parts and boost up the bits that we want to hear. So that's the equipment. Um, the guys also have this on their crash helmets, so that's why our audio has been so good. I believe it's very good. They don't have any cameras as yet, uh, but it's really good. We're talking to each other through the Cena system and also we're recording that so you're not picking up any of the, uh, the the feedback from the speakers because the microphones are so they're not very sensitive and that's what makes these hammers good they actually you really have to be right close to it to get the the full effect of the microphone so if you've got some stuff going on in the background it really doesn't pick it up good which is great in a noisy environment like a crash helmet with wind noise and um <laughs> So yeah, so that summarizes the uh, the equipment that I use. Uh, no doubt it will change. Uh, currently recording with a Insta360 ONE X2 right there. And I'm gonna stick that on the back of my bike. You could probably see the selfie stick has been securely fixed there. I'm gonna have that on there and have some fun on this amazing road, the National 2 Portugal's Route 66. So thanks for watching. Right, hopefully that Insta360 will stay on the back in one piece. So we're on the N2, National 2. The twist is on the drive, Tiger Sport 660. Let's have some fun. I'm hoping the uh, against the 360 is not wobbling about too much. It's got some great stabilization. And with the horizon leveling should look pretty good. Well, I'm hoping anyway. I'm not sure about the audio though because I don't have any external recorders. So I'm hoping the, uh, the X2 will actually do a half decent job. This road is just amazing, as you can see. A couple of bikes been by us so far. They obviously love it as well. Look at that, how tight that is. Some footage from the website, the Algarve Bikers Group. Woo. Yeah, well, quick shift to working well. Oh, heavy braking. And the brakes are brilliant on this bike. I don't change down on roads like this using the quick shifter so much. I'd rather use the clutch and feel it in. So it's a little less harsh. The 
the 360 camera should really get these bends. That is always a tight one, that one. I highly hates that bend. Hey boys. Where that camera's throwing itself all over the place. Got it fully extended, so I bet it's wobbling like crazy. Oh, that is tight. I think it's when I'm breaking, I bet it's lifting up as well. Okay, so we pull up into a Mojel. That will do us for a little bit of a blast using the 360 and we will stop at one of our favorite coffee spots.